Hello again, everybody. Welcome to World Class Standards. I'm Annabelle. And I'm Trevor, here with... Sir Smokey the Dog. I'm out of this world. <laughs> Smokey. What? I am. <laughs> Today we are going to talk about things that moved America forward. Like what? The Manhattan Project. The Manhattan Project? The Manhattan Project is the research and development of the first atomic bombs during World War II. What are atomic bombs? Atomic bombs are weapons that are dropped out of a plane and then they are exploded. Annabelle? Yeah, one of the first atomic bombs, Fat Man, was dropped on August 6, 1945. It was dropped over in Nagasaki, Japan. Atomic bombs can be so powerful that it can melt someone into the sidewalk. That is very powerful. The bomb named Fat Man did about the same damage as 75 million sticks of dynamite. Dynamite are small bombs about the size of a ruler. Okay, I know how much damage an atomic bomb could do, but how is it so powerful? Yeah, Smokey, what makes it so powerful? Good question, isn't it? Well, atomic bombs are exploded by splitting atoms. Who invented atomic bombs in the first place? Atomic bombs were invented by physicists, mathematicians, and engineers from the U.S., Britain, Canada, and Germany. And this was the Manhattan Project. The biggest atomic bomb ever dropped was named Sarbamba. That's a weird name. The Manhattan Project may have sounded like a negative event, but it moved our country forward because it made our country stronger. There was a turtle by the name of Bert, and Bert the turtle was very alert. When danger threatened him, he never got hurt. He knew just what to do. He ducked and cover, ducked and cover. We could win more wars, we could save lives by winning the wars, and it would make other countries respect our world power. Hello everybody, I'm George. And I'm Pirate Kelsey. What are we going to talk about today, George? We are going to talk about the moon landing. What's that? Well, in 1960, John F. Kennedy, the president, started the space program that would send three men to the moon. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. Hey, was it Mr. Hart born in 1869? They sent Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, and Mike Collins. Are they still alive today? Well, Neil Armstrong died recently, but Buzz is still living today at age 83. Mike is also 83. They had to go through lots of training to be an astronaut, four years to be exact, but they finally made it. They had to go underwater in their spacesuit and go in a machine that spins around very fast. That's right, George. On July 20th, 1969, they launched the rocket named Apollo 11. When they landed, Armstrong said these famous words. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Or my name isn't Neil Armstrong. And these words are very true. The moon landing definitely moved our country forward because we knew if we could touch the moon, then what else could we do? We could cure cancer, we could find a cure for Alzheimer's, and we can even explore unknown galaxies. Thank you, George. I guess we're out of time. I'm George. Bye. Bye. Hit it, hit it, hit it.
That's about it for World Class Standards today. I'm Trevor. I'm Annabelle. In the right hands, an atomic bomb is a necessary evil. Speaking of necessary evil, I'm smoking. Have a good day.